Hey Vibe team, this is your coaching video for the week of December 4th. I can't believe that the Christmas season is upon us already. Christmas hit Home Depot hard, hit Walmart hard. Uh, I'm hearing crazy stories about Black Friday and all that. I went out to see a little bit. I only had to like wrestle a few old ladies to get some presents. It was good and not so bad this year. Uh, but this season is so hectic, it's so crazy. Uh, there's a lot going on. Uh, and and you know I, I appreciate you guys still showing up, still devoting yourself, still giving your time amongst the chaos to help disciple these kids, to lay the foundations for the gospel in their minds and their hearts. Um, we have a, a lot going on as, as we approach Christmas here. Just a couple things that are happening. Uh, one, of course, you know this coming Sunday the 4th, uh, after church from 5 to 8 at the church office, uh, we're having our gingerbread building Christmas party. And, and the whole purpose behind this is, is not just to have fun. We'll have fun. But we want to give our church family uh, more opportunities to get to know each other, more ways to connect, uh, ways for, for kids to meet each other, for leaders to hang out with kids, uh, you know, not on Sundays, uh, and for especially for parents and families to meet you guys, the leaders, because a lot of times they don't get to meet you. And just honestly, building those relationships gives us a lot more footing, a lot more credibility to be able to teach the truth to them later on Sundays. And so that's why we're doing it. I hope you can show up if you're in the area. Show up for five minutes. I don't care. Just make your presence known. Come on by. Uh, help with some gingerbread houses. Uh, if you can help set up, come at 3.30. If you can help tear down, stay after 8. Uh, anything you can do is appreciated. Hope you can be there. Uh, the next big thing, we're, we're winding up for the musical. Uh, the rehearsals are going pretty well. The kids are learning their songs. And uh, now is our chance to start promoting. Uh, you know, this isn't just a, like a school musical. It's not something just cute for the kids to do. Um, the church genuinely wants to communicate the gospel through this story. And, and it sounds like it will be done. Uh, and so I, I just want to encourage you guys uh, on Sunday to tell the kids, you know, to invite people. to. Like I remember I told them last week, I said, think of someone in your mind right now. Invite them to come and hear this. Uh, invite them to come see your friends, you know, in the musical and, and just think of people who need to hear the gospel. Bring them to hear this. Uh, so we want to do that. Uh, so this this week we're digging into this passage where John the Baptist's disciples come to him and uh, they basically say, hey, Jesus has taken all our people. And John spends uh, several verses just doing a, just a beautiful uh, description of his humble submission to Christ as well as just a really clear good strong picture of who exactly Jesus is and he talks about that Jesus came from heaven that he has authority here on earth that what he says is the very words of God and that you know he is the one who will essentially save people from their sins and the application this week is easy. I mean, what does this mean about Christ? Obviously, this is basically John putting the stamp and the, the basically giving Christ his great commission by telling us again, like, here's who this guy is. And the application for us is we hope that everybody reads the last verse in that section when it says that all who believe in him will live in eternity. And you know, the, the questions that we're going through and what I've done in your leader guides this week is to hopefully lead the conversations toward that end to really get these kids to consider, like, have I believed in Christ? Am I secure for eternity? If they are, that's wonderful. If they're not, we can ask them why. We can lead them down that path. Um, again, thank you so much for the time you guys spend with these kids. Uh, I know eternity is going to look different because of what you're doing on Sundays. Thank you.